Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Suitcast, where we go ahead and shoutcast in English over someone's game, whether they're a global player, a celebrity streamer, a regular streamer, a regular player, maybe a viewer, maybe one of you guys. But we go ahead and shoutcast over the game to make them feel like a superstar and uh, also for me to practice my shoutcasting. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a look at global number one. You heard it right, global number one, Zask. Um, playing ranked 2,200 matches at a 72% win rate. Now, you guys might be wondering, is Zask viable in this current meta? We're gonna find out by the number one global Zask in the world. So let's see how he plays, man. Let's take a look. Now, it looks like he could be playing solo queue. And we're jumping right into the game. He could be playing a solo queue game here. Um, I don't see very similar squad tags, so this is probably solo queue most likely. He's going in the top lane as well, um, which I believe is the XP lane. Looks like the XP lane based on the minions, and he is going against a Khalid and is already a 2-2 two and two score at 3 minutes in. So he's going to go ahead and escape the Khalid here. Nice job. Um, he's rocking that little... I like to call it the wasp skin. Little wasp skin. Nice poke down on the Khalid. Franco coming up here. Is he going to be able to look for a hook? Divine Dota player is his name. Does he know the game? He's going to go ahead and wait in the bush. Patiently comes in. Probably just going to ultimate. Nice job on the ultimate. Link coming in as well. That's a kill secured on the Khalid. And also at the bot lane, the same thing happened. So they're just trading the lanes here at this point. They're going to go ahead and get the gold from the turret as well as maybe the turret. If they have enough damage and time to do so. But again, the Cho here at the bot lane. And uh, they're going to go ahead and back off. Just get a little bit of gold there, I guess. And uh, so let's take a look at the Zask. He is running Inspire. Oh, here comes the Jawhead. He's going to get the flip right into the Khalid. Khalid, the Sand Dunes are out. He probably overstayed, most likely. I would say he overstayed a little bit. And it was a nice rotation by the Jawhead up in the up there in the top lane. They're going to go ahead and take the blue from the Ling. Actually, the Ling secured the buff. Nice job on the Retribution. He's going to go ahead and get the double kill as well. And Khalid's going to stay in the top lane, try to get some more gold from this turret. Zask will go back to the top. And again, the Franco versus the Jawhead. Cho sitting in the bush here. He's going to look for his moment. Ling starting the turtle, but he's going to easily get out, fortunately, because he can climb walls. You know, my favorite Favorite hero in the game, Ling. Love that character. Love him. Uh, Franco here looking for the hook. Gets dodged easily on that one. They're going to go ahead and put some pressure here in the top lane. The gold is now gone from the turret. And they go ahead and put out some damage here. The sand dunes are out, but the damage is just too much. He's going to go ahead and heal that. But nice job by the Franco landing that hook. Now, Khalid's lifesteal when he's just regenerating that... that that life back he just gets so tanky at the same time so nice job on the teamwork that part ling go ahead and gonna secure the cabbage here also has the red buff and the blue buff or purple as some people like to call it he's gonna go ahead and start the turtle as well one one just hanging out he's gonna go ahead and back off this is the turtle dance. What can the team do? Wan Wan here as well. Going to go ahead and try to provide some zoning, but Claude going to go ahead and ult it. Also gets the retribution out before the Ling could. Takes down the Ling, and next he's going to go on the Franco, but here comes the Harith. Pops the ultimate. Can the Harith take down the Jawhead? Working his best. His Vanix gets thrown away, and Khalid here as well. Meanwhile, Zask in the top lane versus a Cho, and they get taken down. A three for nothing trade by the red team. Zask again. How does Zask fit in the meta? In 2001, season 19. I think I'll leave it season 19. How does he fit in? Can he still do it as global number one? We're going to find out, ladies and gentlemen, as he goes and tries to secure that crab. Just barely. He does get it. 
against the Cho. And now it looks like it's going to be ending up in a two versus one. But again, ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to underestimate a Zask. You literally have to kill Zas twice sometimes. Cho is going to go ahead and try to clear this lane. Zas going into his little big alien form. But nothing's going to happen. Goes ahead and just flips it around. The MCL champions. Boom. Gets kicked by the Cho as well. Ulted. But can he do anything there? I don't think so. I guess he did not expect the Cho to still be around. And Claude here. Claude, a very scary champion. When he's all farmed up, has the double buff as well. He's going to go against the Franco and the Ling. Nice job popping the ultimate. Gets stunned. Nice job by the Ling as well. The damage is just too much. Gets taken down by the Ling and the Franco. Ling rotating to the top lane to clear the lane. Jawhead going to the mid now, and a turtle will be up in five seconds. Now, what can the global number one Zask do for his team? He now has the Feather of Heaven as well as the Divine Glaive, so his damage is going to be pretty good. Harith pop the ultimate. Here comes the Zask as well. The damage from the Divine Glaive, so much magic penetration. No wonder the enemy team has built some magic resistance. If you take a look at the Jawhead, the first thing he got was the Athena Shield. Very good play there, because it looks like the, the Jawhead will be the main initiator here. He is also running the mask, so you're going to have to take a look at the initiation from the Jawhead. And he needs that match resistance versus a Harith, as well as a Zask. Look at the damage. Nice hook from the Franco. Wan Wan going to go ahead and take that kill there. Claude popping his ultimate, but it's just not enough. Unfortunately, just lacking a little bit of damage is asked here now as well. Ling versus the Chu at the purple blue buff. And they're going to go ahead and fight the Chu now. Uh, two versus one. Ling trying to catch up to the Chu. Can he do it? Changi here to support the Cho, but not enough. And Harith as well clearing the lane. Whoa. Better watch out for that magic Serap. Claude's going to go ahead and secure the turtle. Meanwhile, it's 11 to 11. But Team Red does have a gold lead just based on objectives. If you look here, they have three turtles, guys. They have three turtles, two towers. And finally, Team Blue has gotten a tower. But three turtles at this early into the game, nine minutes. Oh, it's about mid-game. Three turtles is a very good amount of gold for your team. And again... We're going to have to just rely on the Franco to land those hooks as well as stun the Claude when he ults. Now, when the enemy team, okay, they take down the Khalid. Here comes the Jawhead. He's looking for the Wan Wan. Going to go ahead and take her down with the ultimate. That's an easy kill for the Jawhead. Harith once again trying to make something happen. Very interesting with the Harith and the Zass. You have two kind of mages that rely on a blue buff. Maybe not so much Zass, but Harith also needs a blue buff. And, you know, unfortunately, they have to give it to a Ling. So very interesting team composition. This must be solo queue. Definitely team composition-wise, a red team is in favor. Chang'e popping the magic Serap, the ultimate. But they're going to go ahead and just stand off here. Claude's going to secure the blue. And they're going to look for a team fight most likely really soon. As Claude is feeling very comfortable at a 5-2-1 score. He also has the Demon Hunter Sword as well as the Golden Staff. So his damage is pretty high. They're going to go ahead and wait for a gank here in the red lane. Okay, the red buff just absolutely destroying the Harith. There's not much they can do there. The Zask is here now, but the stun, could he get enough damage? The Ling trying to take down the Claude, but it might not be enough. Just barely gets away. And they tried. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Changi's going to have to flicker out of there. Cho with the kick flicker. Nice job by the Cho. Taking out the Ling. Taking out the Ling. It's not looking too hot for the number one global Zask. But he is trying his best at 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. Most likely there could have been some arguments in the pick and ban phase. Who knows? But again, this is a high a mythic rank. Mythical glory. 
Franco trying to make something happen versus the Cleat here. Not going to happen, though. And again, the standoff for the blue buff. The enemy team is doing a great job at trying to... Trying to stop the Ling from getting a blue. But he's, he's getting it with the Retri, so at least he has blue. But unfortunately, they're just so outscaled at this, at this point. The Claude is very scary, and look at the initiation from the Jawhead. He's going to go ahead and flip the Franco. That's their only front line, and Blue Team can't do anything to follow that, as well as the Lord coming down bottom. And there's the Claude initiation and the flip from the Jawhead. This could be the end for this game. Ladies and gentlemen, the Harith trying to do what the Harith can do, but it's not going to be enough. Get CC'd all day. The triple kill for the Claude, and it's just not enough. GGWP to global number one Zass. Sometimes, man, I'll tell you, if this was a solo queue game, which it was, it's very risky. Very, very risky. MMR is scary, man. Um, but GGWP. That is the end of that one, guys. Thank you very much for joining the global number one Zask rank game here unfortunately he could not secure the victory and um if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and even if you guys want to recommend someone to shoutcast over go ahead and tell me in the comment section below it can be anybody it can be you guys it can be other streamers globals just let me know all right thank you very much ggwp bye bye